Hey guys, Yasiel here, back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at uh, another 3D printed uh, project that I've done. So this is a mini 3D printed uh, case that I've made for these two little speakers that I bought off uh, AliExpress. It it was uh, it was quite a fun weekend project. Um, I the problem is I I wanted a small box to house these two little speakers. Unfortunately. Uh, using uh, wood or MDF would have been a bit of a mission, so I thought it would be it would be a, a good project to to learn how to use Fusion 360, and it's a fairly simple design, uh, you know. So I I did design this box in Fusion 360 myself, uh, one of my first <laughs> few uh, few designs that I've done, um, you know, just uh, uh, by myself without using anything else uh, that I found online, and it was quite a fun project. Um, I, I will add, uh, you know, I'll, I'll add the uh, a link to uh, the model that I'll, I'll probably upload to Thingiverse so anyone can can use this. But yeah, so this is just a quick review of this little uh, 3D printed uh, case that I've made. Uh, inside here is housed a PAM eight four zero three stereo amplifier. Uh, it's one of those. It's one of a. It's a, it's the same amp that I used in my previous DIY Bluetooth speaker build. It's quite a useful amp. Unfortunately, I, I, I was hoping to use another Bluetooth uh, uh, module uh, that has the same amplifier on it. Unfortunately, I, I think that might have gotten damaged, but, but I couldn't get it working properly. So I stuck to the same, uh, the same amplifier um, and, 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 and provided a, a 3.5 millimeter jack to, that you can use via a normal, a normal cable. Or, or something like a, a Bluetooth module uh, that you can plug in here, connect via Bluetooth, and then you could have this as a completely wireless device. Um, and then a little toggle here to turn the device on and off. Um, and and yeah, that's about it. And then, oh, sorry, uh, the, the battery inside. So I can, I can actually open this up and show you guys what's inside. Um, so fortunately, I designed the back cover to be just just about right so you can actually snap into place. Uh, so inside here uh, is a lot of uh, <laughs> hot glue, but uh, yeah. So I got a eighteen six fifty battery cell powering this thing, uh, and then I got a the TP four or five six lithium ion uh, charger and discharger. Uh, there's the the PAM eight four zero three amplifier, uh, and then uh, the I I I used a, a micro USB breakout board to provide. Uh, so I can, I can that connects to the TPE four five six to charge this battery, um, and yeah, it was a very very simple build. Uh, the the biggest thing that I learned from this was uh, one designing for my first time designing something in Fusion three sixty, uh, and another was you know just uh, trial and error because this wasn't a one hit print. Uh, there was a few iterations that I've done, uh, as you can see, it didn't start off very well. Um, and then I, well, the, the problem was it was actually my mistake. So I had to go on and redesign and make sure, get the right size. Then I, I printed and I forgot to add the, uh, the holes for the, uh, for the, 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 the switch and the, the, the micro USB and the headphone jack. Uh, the thing is when using this handy tool, it, it, uh, please, <laughs> please make sure. So I, I made a big mistake when measuring this. So instead of measuring from where the zero is, I measured from where the the metal ends here. So, for example, um, when I measured this hole, I did this, um, and I said, "Oh, this is uh, oh, so so so." Actually, this is this is incorrect. Uh, but this is supposed to have been three point four uh, instead of three point one. The problem is when I measured it on the on the um, on the actual speaker. I was looking at this measurement, not the zero. So, <laughs> just a tip uh, when using this thing, make sure uh, you to get make sure you get used to make to aligning up that zero with whatever measurement you're adding, uh, just to prevent you from uh, <laughs> spending a few hours on uh, failed prints or prints that don't come to size. So, here's a quick demo for this little speaker that I've done. So, bearing in mind this isn't a very powerful amp. This is. Uh, quite a small two. These drivers are quite tiny. They're actually three watt drivers. Um, so I wasn't expecting much from it. Like I said, it was just a fun project to prove that I can print this out. Uh, you know, design. Is, des so I went from idea to concept to design and uh, implementation 
uh, which was which was really awesome. I mean, this is one of the the, the coolest parts about 3D printing is uh, you know making uh, making stuff that you didn't previously have or uh, finding new ways to make things uh, much more easier. Uh, uh, just a quick one. I did print this in zero uh, point. 0.28 or 0.3 layer height. I must just uh, just double check or 0.32. I didn't use a very uh, low uh, layer height to print this. So uh, just a, just a, a quick note in that. Remember, the lower the layer height, the finer the quality. So uh, I, I, there wasn't a lot of detail in this print, so there wasn't there wasn't a need to go high quality. So that's why I went for a, a slightly higher layer height, which uh, reduced the printing time, uh, you know, by a fair amount. So I'll I'll connect this up to. Um, to a phone that I have here, yeah? and just to play a video from one of my other, uh, one of my time lapses that I've done. So let's play that and turn this on. Okay, so that's a bit loud. So yeah, it does have some volume to it. Um, so yeah. So you will notice if if you crank it up quite a bit, you, you're gonna get distortion because, like I said, this isn't this isn't a a big driver or a big speaker, so. But I mean, for a tiny little Bluetooth speaker, it's, it's decent. I mean, a, a tiny little speaker. You can, yeah, you can't take too much of abuse. Um, but there you go. I mean, this is, um, like I said, this is one of a, one of a, a nice, cool. It was a Sunday, nice Sunday weekend project. Um, so I, yeah, I'll, I'll provide a link to my to. I'll put this up on Thingiverse. It's actually currently, as of recording this video, it's not up, but I'll definitely uh, share this uh, share this design with you guys. Uh, so I'll, I'll leave the link in the description below. But yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.